have a vinyl record in front of us. So we are going to do um, my first ever vinyl record pour, and we are going to try and make it into a clock. So this will be a tutorial on how to pour on a vinyl record and make it a clock. So we have a rule in our house. My husband gets the first of anything I ever do. So any new technique, um, any new idea, anything like that, he gets to keep. So you should see his office. He's got tons of my stuff. So um, because this will be his, I let him choose and he decided that he wanted a Thanos themed um, clock. So we have our colors mixed up. Of course, we have our flow acrylic black. We have deco art americana purple pizzazz and then i added a little bit of actually the already mixed black into the purple um to give it a little bit of a deeper hue than what this was and then we have our deco art dazzling metallics splendid gold so those are our colors so we are going to do a because he wants a galaxy pour um, one of the best ways I've found to get a galaxy themed pour is to do the layers and then a soft flip. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so this is just a vinyl record. I think I picked it up for like $2 at the store. I did, um, prep it with, um, it was just here. Oh, there it is. With the acrylic gesso. So I just painted on the acrylic gesso. Um, I, I tried to take this off, but you, you literally can't take these off. So I just put on acrylic gesso. We'll see if that helps. And for the hole, I just put a, a piece of clear packing tape on the back of it. Um, so the paint won't fall through. Because we are actually going to flip directly at the center. And that's it. That's, that's all I did to prep it. So hopefully this works. We will find out together. Okay, I think that is everything. We just sewed tape on the back. You can't take this off and the pouring mixture. Okay, let's get started and see what happens.
Okay, so first things first, I had way too much paint. So probably if you're gonna do a vinyl record, you could probably cut that mixture that I um, made in half and have plenty of paint, now we know. Um, I do really like the way we have the layers and kind of looks like the galaxy. So we are gonna leave it just like this. Um, I'm actually gonna leave it right here on the table overnight because I know it's level. And um, that's it. So I'm going to bring y'all down closer. Okay, so here is the up close. Okay, I'm going to get some macro shots of this so I can show y'all at the end of this video um, how it looks. And that is it. So thank y'all very much for watching. I am actually going to do this all in one video, so this is not going to be a part one or anything. The video is going to be um, all together the full build. So I will see y'all once this is dry, and we will see what we do next. See y'all soon. God bless. Hi everybody, we're back. Everything is dried. I have removed the tape from the back. Um, the vinyl actually, so we did have some cracking because there was just too much paint left on the on the vinyl, but that's okay because we actually like the way it turned out. We like the, the detail and everything because even though it cracked, we've still got that purple color underneath. So it ended up cracking really well and my husband really likes it. So this is the vinyl that he chose to put on there. So we are going to give um, this vinyl a quick spray with the Krylon spray lacquer to give it that adherent piece, and then we are going to get the vinyl put on. Be right back. Okay, let's get this vinyl put on. All right. Okay. We have our vinyl on. I am going to put another coat of the Krylon spray lacquer just to seal our edges. And then we are going to um, get our resin out and we are going to go ahead and resin this all together. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we are going to go ahead and get our resin mixed up. Um, we are going to be using the Famo Wood Glaze Coat. It is a one-to-one -one ratio. I get it at Hobby Lobby. I mean, sorry, not Hobby Lobby, Home Depot. Um, I'm using this one because I'm actually mixing up a batch for quite a few different things. So we're going to do um, some vinyls with it, but also some coasters and um, some long tiles. So I normally use this resin for my coasters. It's rated to 120 degrees, so it, it goes really well for coasters. So we're going to go ahead and use it for everything so I don't have to mix up multiple batches. Like I said, it is a one-to-one -one ratio. You have your resin and then your hardener. I've already poured it into these cups. I went ahead and just used the lines on the cups, and I took it to the third line on both sides. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to pour one into the other. 
Always wear gloves when you're mess messing with resin. It's important that you scrape the cup really well and you get everything out of it. So once you get in the cup, you're just going to start mixing. Scraping your sides. Make sure you scrape the bottom. You will get bubbles in it, but if you have a little blowtorch, um, bubbles are okay because you can just pop them with your blowtorch. If you did not have a blowtorch or you were trying to do jewelry, you would literally be, be stirring like this really, really slowly not to get bubbles, but we're not worried about bubbles today. This resin has about a 25 minute working time. Um, it does start to get warm as it's starting to mix and cure. So once you mix it, uh, make sure you have everything ready to go. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we are actually going to go ahead and we are going to put it into this cup. Now you do this because if you have any either hardener or resin, whichever one you put on the, um, that was in the cup is going to be what's settled at the bottom and that can give you the sticky. So that cup actually looked really good from the top, looked nice and clear. But once we actually put it into this other cup, I don't know if y'all can see it, but you can see like little strings in there. That means the resin is not completely mixed. So that's why I do the dump into the other cup because it kind of flips it and then you can work on it some more. If your resin ever cures and it's sticky to the touch, it means it was not mixed properly and you just have to put another coat of resin on top of it. It will bond to itself, but um, if it's sticky, it will never cure. Um, and you have to use another, another cup or another coat. Okay, that looks good. Nice and clear. All right. Okay, now that we got our resin all mixed up, we are going to go ahead and get everything coated. See y'all in a few. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get Thanos um, clock resined. Okay, we are going to hit Thanos with the blowtorch. Okay, 
All right. We are going to let that dry, and then we will be back to put our clock together. See y'all soon. Hi, everybody. So we are back. Thanos um, is all dry. It's not fully cured, but it's dry enough to be able to mess with it. So the next step is we actually need to, I think we need to drill out our hole right here. So I'm just grabbing a drill bit. And let's see. Might need a little bit bigger. All right. So this is a 15 64th inch drill bit. You're just going to drill out this middle hole. All right. We'll see if that's going to be big enough. So we have our clock pieces here. I just get these at um, Hobby Lobby. They also have them at Michael's, um, just the clock shop. And um, I got some extra hands since I just think these are too short. Um, this is the quarter inch thick clock face. If that's going to go through, it is not. So we got to make that hole bigger. So this is a quarter inch drill bit. Still not big enough. And so we're doing this because we don't want to go too big and make the hole too big. So we're just walking up the drill bits. So this is a 1754 ths So we ended up using a 5 16 drill bit. Ended up being the perfect size to drill out your hole for this clock face. So now we know it's a 5 16 drill bit is what we're going to need. Okay. Now 
now that we've got that part done, When you buy your clock pieces, if you have any questions on how it's supposed to be built on the back of them, um, actually has how they're supposed to be put together. All right. All right, so we're going to put the washer and then we are going to put the black bolt or the nut bolt, however you say it. And then this one goes on. So because we are using the seconds hand, we are not going to need this top piece. If you weren't going to put the seconds hand on there, then you would go ahead and close it off with this. All right, and there we go. We have our clock built, and I hope it's going to tell time correctly. We shall see. This one's going in my husband's office, so um, we'll find out if it works. But that's it. So thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section, and I will do my best to get back to you. I can't remember if I got macro shots of this one. Um, if I did, I will post them at the end of the video, as well as some finishing shots of this being hung on the wall. In the description below, you'll find all of the materials used, as well as any um links that you need so facebook instagram pinterest twitter as well as my website is also on there and also a link if you'd like to help sponsor my channel okay that is it thank y'all very much for watching um i'm excited the way this turned out i think my husband's gonna like it and i am actually gonna do an entire series of superhero clocks for the comic book store in the mall as well as the post on my website so stay tuned go follow me on all the social media accounts stay tuned at the end of the shots or into the video. Hopefully I have macro shots on there. And as always, God bless. Hi and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope. We are going to start having a drawing every month for a $50 gift card. Sorry, he completely threw me off. We are going to start having a drawing every month for a $50 gift card to my website guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. How do you enter? It's simple. Anybody who sponsors my channel with $5 or more or Anybody who makes a purchase on my website will be entered into the drawing. 
All of the drawings will be held at the first of the month for the previous month's entries and the results will be posted on my Facebook page. All of the links that you need are in the description below. Yes, sir. I know. All of the description, all of the, <laughs> all of the links you need are in the description below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the little notification button so you can be notified when Kitty Toe and I bring you some new stuff. And also don't forget to go and follow me on all my social media accounts. I hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day. Good luck in the drawing and God bless.